Okay, in this video tutorial we're going to look at how to perform binary multiplication. So with binary multiplication this relies on our knowledge of long multiplication in order to perform this. So let's take a number, for instance take a number like this, 1010 and we're going to multiply it by 1, 1. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to take this number and multiply it by each of these following numbers. The answer we then put in the row below. So 1 times 0 gives us 0. 1 times 1, we put that here, gives us 1. 1 times 0, place that here, gives us 0. And 1 times 1 gives us 1. So that's the first one done, that's the first bit. We then look at the next bit and this is in the next column. So we have to add a 0 to show that we've moved along one. Again it's 1 multiplied by each of these so to give us 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0 and 1 times 1 is 1. Now a little trick when you're multiplying in binary is whatever your top number is if it's multiplied by a 1 you'll see a replica of that number either exactly in the same places as it is or shifted along the columns depending upon where that 1 is there. Okay so we've got our multiplication done. So we've got two numbers here there and there which represent each of these columns being multiplied by that we now add these together. So 0 plus 0 gives us 0. 1 plus 0 gives us 1. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. 1 plus 0 gives us 1. And 1 gives us 1. And that is the final answer here. Now we can always check this out by working these out in deanery. But in order to get the marks on the exam paper, you must show your working out. So we can see here that this is 10 times 3, which is 30. And if we work the answer out, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. 16 plus 8 gives us 24. Plus the 4 gives us 28. Plus the 2 gives us 30. So this shows that our multiplication has worked. Okay, we'll do one more example here. Um, we're going to take this number and multiply it by 101. So again, we'll start with this bit and we'll multiply that bit there by each of these numbers and put the result in the first row. We'll then move on to the next bit multiply by each of those and then move on to the third bit and multiply by each followed by adding those together so 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1 1 times 0 is 0 and 1 times 1 is 1 for the next bit we're shifted along by a column so we need to put the 0 in there to show that shift 0 times 1 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0 OK, we've shifted along two columns now, so we need two zeros. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. Remember what I mentioned before about whenever we've got a 1, we see a replica of that top number. And we can see that here, 1, 0, 1, 1. It's just been shifted along by two columns. Let's add these together. 1, 1, 1. 0 carry the 1, 1, 1. So our final answer is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. We can check this answer. So we've got the 11 multiplied by 5 and we can calculate the answer here. 8, 16, 32. So we've got 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 
So we've got 55, 11 times 5 equals 55. We know we've got the correct answer. And that is how you do multiplication in binary.